Well, hello out there, TV land, you beautiful people, you. I figured today we'll talk about this beast. Yes, we'll talk about two upping on this bike. How do you two up on this bike? What do you need? Well, let's get to those answers right now. So, you may not know this from this bike because it's pretty well hidden. You have your pillion pegs back here for the passenger. He just flip down. Pretty cool. And you already have the seat for your passenger. It's underneath this piece of old plastic, which this handy key opens. Yeah, I do this right. Just flip this open. And as you can see underneath here, we have the two screws, one here, one here that holds on this bike cover. And you have a toolkit that comes with the bike, which is pretty cool. And inside this cool toolkit, you have the Allen key, which fits this. Surprise, surprise. So you take these bad boys off. Save voila, not very big. From somewhere safe. Same on this side. Say voila. These things just flip out. They flip out. And uh, yeah, it just comes off. It's just basically plastic. When I say basically plastic, it's plastic. So there you have it. There you have it, kids. Here is your two-up seat, which has always been on a bike, but you would never know with that cover on top. Yeah, so just put your toolkit back in here, latch it back up, put it on the bike. There you have it. This thing here extends out. I, I mean, it's kind of a joke, but I guess this is for your passenger to hang on to. Once you guys go for a rip. But uh, yeah, it doesn't do much. I don't know, maybe it's more of a cosmetic look. I'm not too sure. But uh, that's what you got. So yes, it's all there for you to two up on it. All right. So I do ride with my daughter quite a bit on this bike. I'm about to make a really weird statement that you would think you would never hear. At least I thought I would never hear this. But my 13 year old daughter claims that this bike is more comfortable than the Harley Softail we have. We have a 2018 Harley Softail and she would much prefer be on this bike than the Harley. Yes, strange. I thought I would never ever hear somebody say that. But whenever we go for a ride, it's like, hey, what do you want to go on? It's always, hey, can we, uh, can we go on the Ducati? It's like, cool. Yeah, uh, now, that in mind, the Harley does have a very small two-up seat on top of the fender. Um, it kind of looks like it's made for a butt of a hamster. Like, seriously, it is tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. This thing here is pretty. Pretty wide seat, pretty comfortable. Thank you, sir. Um, so yeah, she feels more secure on it and she thinks that this is like a lot softer. Wide turn, folks, because that is pretty sandy there. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but it's pretty sandy. Um, so yeah, she prefers to go on this. Now, I've doubled my stepdaughter, my daughter, I've taken my girlfriend on this bike and what I have noticed is due to all the torque and the horses on this bike is what you would imagine which is yeah you can't tell us anybody back there it's got so much torque it's uh it's a non-issue it really is uh, but what I did notice and it stands out more if you have somebody in the back is that holy cow is this suspension stiff on this bike 
Uh, as soon as I get my daughter on here or anybody on here, you really, really feel the bumps. And because their legs were just sat in the back, their legs were up a lot higher than, than what my legs are. Uh, when you hit a bump, you really can't lift themselves off the seat. So when you hit bumps, you're hitting the bumps. Uh, this seat is awesome. It's very cushiony, but okay, it's it's a performance cushion seat. Can I say it? Is that, is that a thing? A performance cushion cushion seat? Uh, definitely not like <laughs> definitely not like a Harley seat or a cruiser seat. But mind you, surprisingly comfort comfortable. This seat is kind of designed to hold your butt in place so you can't move too much when you get on the gas on this thing. You will shift forward a little bit to make room for your passenger, which will make you know your gas tank like you've never known your gas tank before. Yes, your private parts will be crushed. I mean, not crushed, but darn close to it. Enough to be uncomfortable. Yes very uncomfortable uh, I wouldn't recommend more than an hour or a couple hours on this bike if you're going around the city or going to movie date night or something pretty cool uh, but I would not recommend this thing to go across the country and for sure this would not be a comfortable bike for that now you can adjust the suspension on the front you do have adjustments for that I never have that's probably because I'm too lazy honestly but uh, yeah, you will feel every bump in the road. Now back to the power of this bike, the torque and the acceleration it has. When you have a passenger on the bike with you, if you hammer on the gas, they are literally hanging on to you. You're the only thing connecting them to this bike. Now, if you own one of these bikes, you understand how hard this bike can accelerate. So keep that in mind. It's like having somebody trying to pull you away from the handlebars when you accelerate. Nice turn signal. Very impressive. That's my two cents on being the driver of this bike with a passenger on. Anyways, I hope that helps. And again, I, I haven't seen any content on YouTube talking about what it's like to uh, two up on these bikes, let alone showing uh, you know, how it works. Anyways, you guys take care. Peace out. Christ, where's the signal? Fuck.